I get so excited every day. I mean, I'm just so. I want to. I want to give this away. It's Christmas, and then what happened yesterday? Jason was it? Jason we or got let down? So so disappointing. We're gonna call this instead of calling it Jeff and Jeremy's twelfth days of Christmas. We're gonna call it Jeff and Jer- Jeremy's uh, Jacob. Sorry, Jacob from Paso. Jeff and Jeremy's uh, great uh, Christmas letdown. There's um, people that have been following us trying to win this that were scared because they were going on a family vacation. They have gone on their family vacation and, come back. and have come back yeah. and are excited that they could still win the 12 Days of Christmas. Today, we add 10 more prizes. Um, it's all brought to you by our friends at the Chuck Chansey Gold Resort and Casino, which is going to be great when you get to get that overnight getaway and all that good stuff and dinner and all that stuff at the Chuck Chansey. All right. So today, Jeff, going to my hood. We haven't been to my hood yet. We haven't called anybody in Grover Beach. Today we're going to Grover Beach. I'm really excited. Jason Stinson. I hope you answer the phone. It's if you don't. literal when you say hood, too. Then we will open the phone lines and let other people have a shot to play. But if Jason answers, he will play the 12 days. He signed up at KZOZ.com and he was randomly randomly generated today. What was he? Number, the 71st qualifier contestant to sign up. Jason Stinson of Grover Beach. Hello? Jason, it's Jeff and Jeremy. Are you ready to play the 12 Days of Christmas? I sure am, actually. I wasn't listening to the radio, but I'm ready. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> well, hopefully you've been listening to the radio at least in the last few days. Or more importantly, you went over to KZOZ.com and listened to that podcast because that's where the answers to the first five questions are, Okay. <laughs> Yes, I actually did that. Oh, look at you, Jason. All right, good. We're gonna okay. we're gonna get to uh, brass tax then. Okay? So you know what's going on here. I mean, we're gonna add ten more prizes right now. You ready for this? This is a good I'm one. Ready. This is a really good one. On, on the, the tenth, tenth day, day of Christmas, Christmas Jeff, Jeff and Jeremy, Jeremy gave to me a VIP tour for ten at Firestone Walker Brewery with tasting in Paso Robles. Nine haircuts from Clippers. Eight zip sip and tours from Margarita Adventures and Ancient Peak Wines. Seven Jeff and Jeremy fast passes. Six tickets to shows at the California Mid State Fair. Five oil, oil changes, changes from Landis. Landis. Four pairs of Uggs from Tackens. And <laughs> three pairs of tickets to the Macaroni and Cheese Festival. Uh, two toys from Hobby Headquarters. And a uh, weekend we getaway get to the, the Chuck, Chuck Chansey Chance. Gold Resort, Resort and Casino. That also comes with dinner for two, by the way. All right, hold on a second. We got a VIP tour for 10. This is uh, the brand new renovated Firestone Walker Brewery. You get you and nine of your friends together. All right. You go up there, they're going to give you a tour of the whole place, in through the brewery, and of course it comes with free beer. You get to do the tasting and try all the new stuff and other stuff and some of your favorites. And they're doing so many beers now that that could be a long tasting session. You drink beer, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Now, you got to realize, I mean, this is day 10. There's only two more days, but we're stuck on question number six. But first, you have to answer questions one through five. This is what you're listening for. Uh, that's a good sound. Okay. Uh, Jason, that is a bad sound. Give us the five ways you can listen to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast. You can listen on the FM radio, YouTube, iTunes, website, and Podbean. Play, player FM is the first one you said? Yeah, yeah FM radio. Uh, it's, called, it's a website called Player FM. I think you just oh, got well, confused. Play, okay. Gotcha. Okay. It's called Player FM. We're going to... We're going to, we're looking at the judges right now. They're like, it's okay. Because they want this to get over with. All right, let's go. Let's go. Next question. Uh, What bet did I make with Jeremy that could impact me for the rest of my life if, if miraculously uh, lightning strikes me, essentially? (laughs) Well, if uh, Tim Tebow uh, makes a major league roster, you'll have to get a tattoo of him. Yes. Yes. The Tim Tebow tattoo. What does Jeremy admit to doing in the middle of the night? Oh, he sits down to pee. Yes, he does. I recommend it. What do <laughs> I what do I do to make a little bit of extra money on the weekends? You're an Uber driver. That is correct. Uh, what musical instrument do I hate it when Jeremy plays it in my presence? Oh, that wonderful kazoo. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that I don't like I don't like your kazoo. It's just 
you have to be so loud. It's like conversating with you. It's and really like, hard to... Because you play as much like your conversation. You start getting uh, higher and higher and higher in your volume, and then next thing you know, <laughs> it is overpowering, it's and everybody, nobody can hear what the hell anybody's thinking about. I have a lack of kazoo restraint. I'm working on my kazoo restraint. You need touch. You're like calling Kaepernick on that kazoo. No, it's restrained. It's everything, restrained. It's because Everything it's is loud. like throwing it at 100 miles an hour. You got to right. you gotta learn some touch. Why is Jeremy known as the office terrorist at lunchtime? Well, he likes to mark away some uh, interesting food selections, including like fish and broccoli. And yeah, yeah, and that's it. Up. Yeah, we're, we've moved on. Nice <laughs> job, man. All right. So we are here at question number seven now. All right. Uh, I do a podcast with uh, the New Times Entertainer of the Year, Matt Cross. Do you know the name of that podcast? I do not know the name of that podcast. We don't we don't talk about it very often. Some people out there are like, I know the name of that damn podcast. I can't believe I didn't get they didn't pick me today. <laughs> yeah, but at least I knew I knew why he's a terrorist. Hey, least. good job, dude. Good <laughs> yeah, job. Yeah, good job. All right. So, so now question we're, number seven. Seven. We got eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Chances are this is going to go to the 12th day, right? And you need to know the name of the podcast that Jeff does outside of this show with the, with new, the, sl- with the San new, Luis Obispo new Entertainer times, of the Year. New Times uh, Entertainer of the Year. The New Times Entertainer of the yeah. Year? Okay, the New Times Entertainer of the Year. Matt Cross, who comes in and here. And he has some other titles. From Guitar too. Circus. He took that title away from Rich Ferguson. I think he was Best Wedding DJ or something like wedding, that. Wedding uh, Performer? performer? <laughs> by like a wedding magazine or something yeah. like that. All right, man. Well, uh, it was great talking to you, buddy. Sorry we couldn't make you a oh, winner crap. today, but thanks for getting us to question number seven. The worst friend. All right, you appreciate. It. Thank you. All right, you can. Uh, if your name goes back in, and then who knows, you may get selected again. We'll call you back. All of his answers that he just gave us are going to be on the website on Podcast the twelfth days today. today. Yes. It'll be updated. And once again, I just because it's unclear, I'm going to say it right now. So pay attention. All right. You can hear the podcast on Player FM, Podbean, iTunes, YouTube, and at KZOZ.com. Podcasts are not played on the radio. They're a podcast of the radio show. That's the difference. See, most people don't even know what these things are. Jeff threw that one in there. I'm going to be on. I'm throwing you under the bus. This this is your fault. For what? That question. That question was. The Matt Cross question? No, the question about the podcast. Well, now people are going to know. That's nice that people can. Uh, you know what's funny I, is I, well, I was thinking about expanding the platforms, but then I'm like, ah, people are going to have a tough enough time with five platforms. <laughs> Let's just make it simple, okay? Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk to Joel Peterson from Firestone Walker. We'll talk a little bit about that tour that they're giving away. These are great gift ideas, by the way. You can actually buy a tour for your friends, maybe family members, and you can give it as a gift. Joel Peterson on from Firestone. And we've been talking to you a lot lately, man. I mean, you guys were helping us out with the takeover and uh, uh, we we're having beers with you up there at the tap room, which looks awesome, by the way. And, yeah, it's uh, been fun. It's been a good, good holiday season for this. Jeff and I both noticed the shirt you were wearing. We were like, damn, that's a slick uh, <laughs> Patagonia flannel <laughs> shirt you got there. And you guys sell those at the Emporium, which is right across the street, right? Yeah, we were just a few yards down from the uh, brewery. We've got the brewery Emporium, which is where our offices are, and we've got all kinds of fun holiday stuff going on. we got, you know, everything from flannels to, to you know, board shorts to... I mean, shoot, we've even got, you know, all the beers are there, and we've even got some fun things this year, like there's a special beef jerky that maybe we, we make some of our beers, which is killer. So just some, some, some fun stuff. Um, now, there's a lot of uh, gift ideas that you can get at the Emporium as far as, like, clothing. You guys you guys make pretty much every type of, like, sweater. Uh, you, <laughs> like Jeremy mentioned it, the flannels, and it's like, what's it feel like for being a part of something that has become, like, the unofficial uh, logo of the of the region for with 805. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, yeah, definitely. I mean, over you know, two thirds of the stores is Firestone Walker, and then a whole third of the stores doing with 805, and it's, it's neat because there's everything from you know shirts, hats, pine glasses, openers. I mean, there's a surfboard in there. There's there's skate decks, and 805 definitely has kind of come synonymous with this area, and it's just so fun to be a part of that uh, the whole movement here. So we got to talk about the uh, this brewery. I mean, um, I, I know you're not the brewer, and maybe Matt's the best guy to talk about all the new toys and fun stuff, but you guys just did an expansion and kind of a remodel in there. What, what were some of the things that you uh, that you did inside the brewery that will that people will see when they take the tour? So they overall expanded the entire, you know, kind of a square, square footage you know, square of, the, of the entire brew deck, so it's just bigger. They can, they can brew a lot more beer, thanks to 805. 
And then it's, it's, it's really an automated system as well, so they can really kind of use a lot of, you know, bells and whistles with the computers to kind of automate it to make it kind of technically technically sound beer. But it's also, they, they've given us more space to do the mash-in. They've just given, they've made it faster to, to brew, you know, beer actually faster than they were previously. And the big thing is just the capacity. So, I mean, obviously the, the, the quality's there. The lab does a great job with the beers, making sure they're sound beers. But I think more than anything, it's just the, it's the capacity and the speed they can, which way they can brew beer. So, I so. mean, if I took a tour, say, five years ago, um, and, mm-hmm. and I took a tour now, it would be like taking an entirely different tour, right? Oh, it's completely different. You go upstairs. We actually pour you, um, you know, Pale 31, which is one of our, you know, original beers up there on the brew deck. We, we pour um, unfiltered DBA, which is a kind of a, a, a Paso-only beer we make. Um, you get to cruise around and see all the, the bells and whistles, the, you know, the brewers usually come out. We've got a beer educator who tells you all how, how it works. We go downstairs when it's all done, and then we actually pour, taste you through all the, all the different beers. We've got about 12 different beers on tap at the, at the end of the tour for you to you know, enjoy. Can, um, I, can I buy a beer while I'm there? I mean, can I just say, hey, yeah, oh, yeah. can I get oh, an yeah. extra full <laughs> glass? Okay. Yeah, when you're done with the tour, if you like one, you'll hang out longer, buy a pint or whatever, and you can hang out for sure. But, I mean, you, if you don't have to, you can actually just enjoy tasting for a while as well. So. <laughs> if, I won, yeah, yeah. if I won this I like thing. That. I like that plan. <laughs> if I won this thing, or you I'm can definitely go bringing a driver. Street. Yeah, go across, across the street to the, street the tap room. Yeah. 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 yeah, get a burger, get a pint, and just hang out. So it, it's... It's great. We enjoy working with you guys and throughout all the stations, and it's just we've been a great partnership this holiday season. Uh, yeah. Very nice, Joel. We appreciate it. Thank uh, you so much. Just last thing, people can buy these uh, tours and gift them for the holidays, right? They can. Yeah, the tours are twenty bucks, which is a steal. I mean, you're there for an hour. You get uh, three or four beers throughout the tour, and at the end, you end up with a you know, few, a few more beers. It's, it's, you get educated. You have friends and family are in town. Just cruise down there. Um, it's just, it's like a newly renovated. If you haven't been out to the tap room. Excuse me, the, the visitor center. We opened uh, re- the new spot in uh, June first of this year. So if you haven't been there in the last six months, go down there for sure and check it out. It's just a great, great tour. He brings up a very good point. I mean, it's a great thing to do with your relatives that are visiting from out of town. Yeah. If uh, you're looking for something to do, because like you, for instance, how long is your family going to be here for the holidays? They're going to be here uh, almost two weeks. Almost two weeks. Yeah, so you're going to at about day nine. We're in the middle of this 12 days of Christmas right now. You're, you got another 12 days of Christmas coming up for you, my friend. <laughs> and, and about day nine, you're going to be like, dude. All right, I'm going to need go- alcohol to hang with these we're people. We're going to Firestone. We're taking a tour. Get everybody get in the car. All right, Joel. Uh, Firestone yeah. Walker. Is it FirestoneWalker.com? Yeah, FirestoneWalker.com, exactly. Okay, it's, very it's cool. Great. Uh, well, always great to talk to you. And uh, thanks for jumping on the uh, 12 days of Christmas. And uh, have a Merry Christmas. Our pleasure, man. Merry Christmas. Cheers, guys. All right. See you later. This is Joel from Firestone. You know, and you go by the Emporium, and they've got all kinds of cool, like, little gift ideas if you want to do something out of the box for, you know, someone that you know that likes beer. I actually went there and just made my stepdad a gift basket, which I know is not, like, the most manly gift to give. But it's I, all I, beer stuff. I was so thinking maybe I'll buy, like, an ammo box and shove it all in an ammo box or something. Make it a gift ammo box. A gift box. Here you go, Dad. Put your hands in my gift box. (laughs) That's better than Wicker Basket. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Listen online at KZOZ.com.